Hello Libra, welcome to Love Reading. This is gonna be a reading where we look at what's currently going on for you in love and where is it headed in the near future? What do you need to know about the possibilities for what can happen regarding love? So as always, these readings are general. They will not resonate with every Libra watching, so keep that in mind. So let's jump right in for Libra, spirits, angels, guides, insight, please, messages for Libra regarding love and relationships. Does Libra need to know regarding love? Well, we got wealthy man. I heard I have something for you. And then there's expectation at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you're waiting for this. They, I have something for you. Okay, what else? What else for Libra? What do they need to know regarding love? Does Libra need to know? Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. You deserve love at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what other messages do you have for Libra regarding love? What does Libra need to know, Spirit, regarding love? Moving forward. Movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. This could be you or your person moving forward into a new cycle in love and moving forward together. Far apart. Distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting your connection. And we have patiently waiting. I want to get this one too. Intense, profound, and earnest. Interesting. So you're not with this person. We have far apart, distance, separation, divide. There could have been um, a separation between you and this person already. I feel like you're waiting for this person to return. Intense, profound, and earnest. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Maybe you've been waiting a long time. And you've been kind of hoping that there is some sort of turnaround here in this connection. That maybe you won't be far apart anymore. No longer separated. You kind of had um, something similar in your previous reading. I think it was the January you and them reading. So feel free to check out your playlist, Libra, if you want to get more insight there. Spirit, what do we need to know? Current and future energies. Okay, Seven of Cups Reverse. Current and future energies for Libra. I'm not going to take it because I'm going to cut the deck. Current and future energies for Libra. What do we need to know? Okay, what's currently going on for you? We have the Queen of Cups reverse, the Knight of Wands reversed, and the Eight of Swords. Future energies we'll put over here. We'll look at those in a second. And the overall energy is the Three of Wands reverse. Yeah, some of you have been waiting for a really long time. And I feel almost like there's an impatience, a frustration here because of all this waiting. Uh, maybe you feel like you don't want to wait any longer or you're wondering what the holdup is. Let me get some clarity, some insight, please, for Libra. Now, the Knight of Wands is reversed with the Queen of Cups reversed. The nicest way I can put that is that someone effed up. And there's heartbreak disappointment because this Knight of Wands reversed did not think things through. They must have been caught red-handed, non-committal. Maybe they screwed up somewhere in the past, made a mistake, jumped into something without thinking, etc., etc. I'm also getting the Knight of Wands reversed with the Eight of Swords, someone that's not taking action. They're stuck, tied up here with the Eight of Swords, maybe fearful. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Well, actually, let me start with the Three of Wands reverse. Let me go. Let me start with the overall energy. 
Why is the three of wands reverse? Why is the three of wands reverse, spirit? Why is the three of wands reverse? Page of swords. Why is the three of wands reverse? Hmm. Why is the three of wands reverse? Six of cups. I think some of you are just wondering if you're um, ever going to get the truth. A message. Some sort of communication. Um, I think that you have held on to the past or the past has held on to you. Six of cups and the devil here. Capricorn energy. It's almost like a very, uh, pers I'm getting persistent energy. So this is something that's just always existed. Ever since you met this person or had a connection with this person, there the past has some sort of a hold and it keeps someone waiting. Something happened here where you're now far apart, but the distance does not make you wait any less, if that makes sense. Now, the Page of Swords is interesting because it's almost like this person's looking at this wealthy man. This Page of Swords is looking at the wealthy man and almost like, so what's up? <laughs> what's going to happen? I'm watching you. You might be watching me. I'm just waiting to hear the truth. What's this Page of Swords about? Why is the Page of Swords here? Why is the Page of Swords here? Three of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you, there could be um, another person in the picture. Um, others of you, you're almost hoping, you, it's almost like you know that talking things out will fix things. If you could just talk, if you could just communicate, if the truth could just be expressed, we could work on this. We could build this. We can make something happen here. But if there is a third person involved, um, then this is really going to be, it's not going to... Basically, it doesn't matter what is said, right? It's what someone does with this third party, if that's what you're dealing with. I don't want to jump into third party, you know, because I only have one card. I mean, I haven't clarified enough, basically. So let's keep going. Let's find out what this Eight of Swords is about. Tell us about this Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Six of Swords and the High Priestess. So that's that moving forward card. So I feel like this is somebody that is in a situation. Okay, so again, this could be interpreted in a few ways. Oh, the Eight of Wands. So this could be somebody that's stuck in a situation or fearful and they need to make a move. Um, they need to leave this situation, make a move. Um, but maybe they are unable to see a way out of the situation, right? Maybe their intuition is guiding them towards leaving. Um, or they're thinking, you know, if I do leave, I would have to do this in secret. Now, I don't know. Um, this is interesting to me. Let me get one more. Can I get one more? Because I, I, I was thinking, well, it's almost like this person might need to become unstuck or overcome their fear in order to just communicate. I mean, how hard is it to communicate? Apparently for this person, it would be a little too, too much. <laughs> Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, Page of Cups, because it's not just communicating. It's apologizing or expressing themselves, a vulnerable side to, of them, maybe. The devil shows up again. Now, the high priestess is here. So it's almost like secrets, hidden energy. I, okay, let's keep going. This is reminding me of the last reading I did for you, with which was, I think, January's You and Them reading. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? This person could also be apologizing with this Page of Cups for whatever happened here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands reverse. 
Why is the Knight of Wands reversed? Why is the Knight? Five of Pentacles. So they've had some sort of a loss, difficulty because of this Knight of Wands reverse. Excuse me. This could have been what created a divide because the Five of Pentacles are outside in the cold. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Can I get one more for this Knight of Wands reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune and then the Tower. Yikes, jeez. I heard it. it's all coming down or crumbling down. It's all coming down. I think your person royally screwed up. Now, I don't know if this is them, you know, doing something to you. I don't know if they were unfaithful to you or screwed you over or didn't commit to you, played you. Um, and that was very difficult for you. But I'm getting almost like this person just made a mistake in some sort of decision they made. Regardless of what this is, I feel like this person had a loss. And the, the the Wheel of Fortune is now here with the Tower. So it's almost like there's something shifting, changing here. Whether it was a mistake or whether it was some something wrong that they did to you. Let's see, tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Ten of Wands and Three of Swords. Yeah. Pain, heartbreak, and then the Chariot, Cancer Energy at the bottom of the deck. I have a feeling that someone just wants to kind of move past this. They want to move past this. They want to turn things around. They, they don't want this to be, you know, it's almost like they don't want this to be it. I keep getting this kind of energy for a lot of signs lately. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. It's like it's like people that are not happy with the current state of things. And maybe in the past they were able to live in denial or maybe in the past they were able to just accept their reality. But something has shifted for a lot of people, maybe because of what's been happening astrologically, but it's like people are, or maybe with everything that's going on with the pandemic, it's almost like people are not satisfied with just settling. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, okay. This is definitely, yeah. This is just someone coming in to talk. Um, they want to talk things out. Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, Page of Swords. And with judgment here, I'm getting almost like a awakening about the pain they've caused, a realization about the pain they've caused, a realization about the past, wanting a second chance, wanting a do-over, turn things around. Because this is not something that they want to just accept or have, have uh, it's almost like this ten of, so ten of Wands, Three of Swords is something they can't live with. So it has to change. And how does that happen? Well, there's some sort of truth that can be ignored here. Some sort of message that is being sent. Page of Cups. Tell me about this Page of Cups. It could be an apology too. Tell me about this Page of Cups. Why is this Page of Cups here? Page of Pentacles, yeah. And then the star, yeah. This is someone healing, wanting to heal things, wanting to have a renewal. Now the High Priestess is here, so it's almost like this. someone's um, picturing this in their mind. They're not doing anything about it right now. But it's almost like this is in the back of their mind. I need to leave. I need to apologize. I need to make things right. Um, so let's see where all of this is headed. Oh my God, the Page of Cups. Oh yeah, there's definitely an apology or at least just a genuine conversation happening here. Four of Cups. 
Ooh, someone could be fearing rejection. Maybe you're not interested in hearing from this person. Wow, Six of Swords again. Yeah, there's definitely someone that is, they could be coming to see you and apologize here with the Six of Swords. But what I'm, it's almost, oh man, let's clarify the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Because this is what you can expect in the near future. So someone's leaving, a departure, a transition, a change that someone's making. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? The Hangman. Hmm. Justice at the bottom of the deck. There you are, Libra. Well, the Eight of Pentacles and the Hangman is telling me that someone actively worked on becoming unstuck here or leaving a situation they were stuck in. So I think regardless, I don't know, it's almost like this person was always going to leave this situation or was always going to make this transition or this move in their life. And they just so happen to use this as an opportunity. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Yep, there's the Knight of Swords again. When did it come out there? Tell me about the Page of Cups. This is going to happen um, possibly quick, like so quick that you kind of don't even expect it. The Knight of Swords tends to be kind of blunt to the point. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. And with the Four of Pentacles here, I almost get like, yeah, yeah, there's Justice. Yeah, Three of Wands. It's almost like this was what you've been waiting for. You've been waiting to hear from them. You've been waiting for this apology. You've been waiting for this message. And someone was holding back for a long time, I feel. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So it's some sort of offer here or a promise and I don't know I feel like some of you are not really open to this but others of you I think you will be yeah this is going to happen quickly ton of swords here I think they're going to tell you that something is over or that they've left something behind they're going to possibly tell you um what they plan for the future spirit can we get some insight into what this person's energy is like when it comes to Libra or this connection and then we're going to take this to the extended um, which is linked in the description box it's going to be all about your person their energies their feelings intentions next actions we're going to be looking at that in the extended so if you want to know more about this person and what they're all about or planning to do then check out the extended it's linked in the description box what do we need to know about this person here there's so much I wish I could do over again. Regrets. Again, this is about the past. I haven't been the same since we met. This is about the past. This person feels like they've screwed up royally in the past and it's affecting them, their, their actions now. Um, I think they've ended something. I think the Wheel of Fortune with the Tower and all these energies here, Maybe it hasn't been easy for them to end things. Maybe getting out of a situation took a huge toll on them. But I think they're also using it as an opportunity. So that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel grow. It just basically tells YouTube that you like my content and want to see more of it.